My name is Dina Al Faris. I come from Saudi Arabia and um, currently I'm the CEO of Al Faris Group, which consists of uh, members of companies based in Saudi Arabia. It is a family business where we run uh, a sturgeon aquaculture farm and it has its um, facilit facilities to process the caviar. Uh, uh, as a woman in Saudi Arabia, it's not um, very common to become the CEO and to run a family business, uh, but that went very well for me. <laughs> so how did it come? How did it work out that you are CEO of a family business? Uh, support of my father, belief in me, and also education, of course. Yeah. And how do you face the reality. I mean, you being a woman in Saudi Arabia running a business, how do you deal with other women? What? Again, rephrase your question. My question would be, I mean, you are not, not the majority in Saudi Arabia. Yes. A woman running a business, supporting by her father. Yeah. Uh, how do you communicate with other women in Saudi Arabia? to make more of these things happen? Um, yes, uh, if it's not through the media, we also run our own conferences, we have our economic forums, and specifically for women, where we meet each other and we empower each other and encourage the new generations. Also, we have um, established uh, business young councils in the Chamber of Commerce, where we also do our own programs to deliver to the new generations of how to start their own entrepreneurships, of uh, making their own jobs rather than looking for opportunities, and giving them life examples by collecting famous names and uh, real active ladies in the, in the industries and in the businesses where they can communicate and uh, tell their own stories and the people can be also able to ask them questions and to answer it. Uh, and this is all family driven? This comes out of your family? In, no, this comes out of me as in the society we share with other business ladies where we think this is very important okay. in order to uh, empower women in business specifically. So is there any kind of women network within Saudi Arabia? Yes, mainly through the, what I have been going through is mainly in the Chamber of Commerce, but also there are other networks uh, where the ladies, they run it themselves, um, either uh, they are related to funding uh, programs or uh, non-governmental organizations, or uh, maybe even um, consulates where they are looking for raising the education and empowering women to be involved in the business. How would you describe the overall situation of women in Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia after the unrests we have seen in countries around you? Um, Has anything changed? The, or It's probably raised a lot of questions. It's probably also made people feel more excited to do what they wanted to do, but the movements towards uh, women and involving them in business was already before that okay. starting, specifically when uh, King Abdullah took over. Uh, he has it since day one, empowering women in every way that he is, that is possible to have her and uh, which made things are easier to have her everywhere, to see her everywhere. But the only thing that the people they are looking into is the practical side of it. When it comes to practicality, there are some obstacles, right? But the women are more and more getting into networks where they ask for removing those obstacles. And recently, um, there was a beautiful uh, decision by the Ministry of Trade where they decided finally to have ladies working in the shops to sell to other ladies, which makes it even better, specifically for ladies' um, accessories and mandatory if it's uh, lingerie for women, because yeah. we used to only buy it from men, which uh, uh, touches your privacy. Yeah. yeah. So what are the next steps do you expect to see in Saudi Arabia regarding the rights of women? 
<sighs> expect or wish? <laughs> Expectations are really a lot, a lot, a lot to expect. Uh, we can see so educated ladies, and and in the last um, three to four years, there have been a lot of uh, scholars sent by Saudi Arabia to around the world. So we expect also uh, new fields, new uh, educated uh, girls and boys, where they will also help into developing a society and our expectations more and more it's about the driving we wish it's to drive. driving yeah we wish to drive because driving will help you to do a lot of things yourself yeah. not to depend on someone specifically in a country yeah. where you don't have a supportive public transportation yeah. it's either you have a driver or someone to drive you otherwise you will stay yeah. home just to give us an idea, I mean, not so many people probably have been to Saudi Arabia. If you talk in percentages, how many women have the chances you had? Is it like from my experience and from the when I meet the media and they try to cover my story and then I go to economic forums and I meet other ladies, I think we're very few. A very few? Yeah. Like less than 10%? Yeah, less as in specifically being supported and uh, and uh, taking the initiative and trusted in, but also not to neglect that I am always impressed and amazed of s there is a big number of ladies. I don't know the percentage, but it's very big number where they do they did their own businesses, they did everything from scratch without any support, and sometimes families were against them but they still did it. Yeah. So how come that your father supported you? Because he believes that... Uh, Do you have brothers as right. well? Yeah, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest one. Yeah, expecting my brother to come soon from Canada. He might join me also to help me with the responsibility. And that would be very nice. Um, you know, when it comes to business, you know, it's either you're the owner or you are given the responsibility as, as in my case and that's what I'm what, this is where that um, usually people they see as different yeah but what we call for now when when it comes to women and empowering her also to diversify her in the industry because um, opportunities were limited for her due to certain um, legalized legal issues and uh, commercial policies yeah, and yeah. So it's, it's getting there, it's mm. becoming better and better. What kind of role does social media play in this empowerment of women? I think very positive. I've seen in which ways? Mm -hmm. Can you explain this? Uh, Is there censorship? Is there? Yes, there are actually so many censorships and they are uh, developing so much and they're competing whom to, to do better and they're presenting their success stories and how they are helping the others to to reach to their w where they can want to be. Yeah. So do you use social media by yourself with your company to reach out to other women or? Uh, through my company, no, through myself personally, with my personal efforts and time, yeah. So if you would have three wishes for free, what would they be? Three wishes in that industry. Um, in, in Saudi Arabia? In Saudi Arabia. Women in Saudi Arabia. Women in Saudi Arabia. Uh, to be able to uh, network and not to be isolated just with women networking. To also indulge in the men in the uh, world because that's very necessary to, to diversify in every way. Um, second wish which actually is a priority for everyone, I guess, especially the people who are knowing the need of that, is driving cars. And the third wish is, yes, to, ha to see that there's the family supports are increasing for their own daughters and sons to become leaders.